Have you ever wondered if you can install Microsoft Windows Server 2016 as a VMware image? To make it more challenging, using a free downloadable VMware player. Well, like I said, everyone knows that VMware player is free to download and on the other hand, VMware Workstation is licensed. Well, I'm going to leave it to that at this point. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to download an ISO file here using your Google and search for Windows Server 2016 ISO. You're going to have to select or click on this hyperlink called Microsoft Evaluation Center and then it will present you with a series of different languages or for the hyperlink here. I've already downloaded English United States and I already clicked on this guy here to download. It's about 4 gigabyte. I'm going to close this here. Next, you're going to launch your VMware player. It comes up to that. And then the next thing you have to do is to create a new virtual machine like this. And then in here, you're going to click on Browse and go to the location where you have downloaded the ISO file. 9 out of 10 time, your uh, download file for the ISO will be in this download folder. Mine, I've already moved it to this particular folder. That's why I see it here. Click on it and click on Open. After that, click on Next. Uh, they will prompt you for window product key. You can leave it blank. If you leave it blank, uh, this software will run for 180 days with uh, some notice on the bottom right hand of the screen here, which I'll show you shortly. And then uh, the version of the Windows to install, there's multiple versions that you can install. I'm going to leave it as default. And the personalized window, I'm going to leave it as it is. This is not your uh, admin login password on your VM. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to click on next. And then they'll say, you did not enter the product key. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes here. Over here, you're going to give it a name. It's showing in a parenthesis two like this, mainly because I already got one image like that which I tested recently. I'm going to rename it to something else. Maybe I'm going to call it like that. And this is the location. This is the location where all your VMware files will be stored. All the images files will be stored. Click on next. This is the default size. I'm going to leave it at 60 and I'm going to store all my virtual uh, virtual files into multiple files so that it's easy to move around. If you have a one large single file, it is difficult to move things around. But I was told that this is much faster. What do you think? Let me know. And then click on next. Then after that, click on finish button here. If you get this message, it's mainly because you did not press a key when they prompt you to start from the DVD. Let me uh, restart this guy here. If your cursor is not visible or not, move, not moving around on your screen, press Control Alt to make that cursor visible again. The reason why that disappears is when you click on the black screen like this, your black screen become active and the cursor is not available. Again, Control Alt to make the cursor visible. Then you go Player, Power, and then uh, Restart. You can see as, I, as soon as I hit Yes, you can see that they will say press any key to boot from DVD. You have to press any key right now. I was a bit too late. Let's try this again. Power, Restart, Yes. Click on the black screen, press any key like that, and then your window will start. If you come up with this Windows setup error when they say Windows cannot find the Microsoft license term, uh, this is because that's, uh, it's detecting a floppy drive. What you have to do is to, first of all, you're going to have to shut down this thing here, shut down your VM here and say yes. And then after that, launch your VMware player one more time and go to that uh, VMware image that you just created, which is this one here for me. When you select this, click on edit virtual machine setting here. And then in this here, this floppy drive uh, is not required. So basically click on remove and click on OK and then try running it again. Make sure you press a key so that it starts using the ISO file. And now it proceeds here. So from here on, you're just going to have to answer the standard Windows setup procedure here. Click on next, install now. Over here, select the operating system you want to install. I'm going to install this one here. Click Next. After that, just accept it. Click Next. And over here, I'm going to customize it. And that's what you have to do because you have to allocate the Windows, uh, the disk partition, I guess, with this. Click on this. You can see it's a brand new unallocated disk space here. Click on New. And then they will help you partition the files here like this. I'm going to keep it as default and hit Apply. And then uh, they say you're going to create partition. Click OK. They automatically create, it, create some partition for you, all your master, master boot as well. And then click Next here. And then just wait for a bit.
over here you can assign your uh, administrator password uh, it has to be a bit complex i'm going to say capital r a b i one two three exclamation like that and then i'm going to call it the same exclamation make sure they are correct they want uppercase uh, letters numeric values and a special symbol or character and then click on finish once that's done uh, to get control alternate delete there's this icon here click on it and then the password which you just entered a second ago which is this one for me and then either press enter or that arrow key and you will enter the windows operating system desktop here so this is my network i'm going to click no and then if you notice here at the bottom right hand corner here of the wallpaper they did say that uh, it's a standard evaluation good for 180 days now this is a server edition you can see that the server manager kicks in right away here one note is that you can do uh, install tools here what install tool allow you to do is to be able to resize the window and at the same time copy files from your base computer into your virtual machine that's not part of this video but anyway if you like this video please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now